This reading is not about doing chores when your mom or your dad asks you to. We're in the 26th Sunday of Ordinary Time, and this is a reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus tells this parable, and he's speaking to the religious leaders around him. What do you think? A man had two sons, and he went to the first son, and he said, Son, go and work in the vineyard today. And the son answered, I will not. But... Later, he changed his mind, and he went. Then the father went to the second son and said the same, and he answered, I will go, sir. But he did not go. Which of the two sons did the will of his father? And they answered Jesus, the first son. And Jesus said to them, Truly I tell you, the tax collectors and the prostitutes are going into the kingdom of God ahead of you. For John, the Baptist, came to you in the way of righteousness, and you did not believe him. But the tax collectors and the prostitutes believed him. And even after you saw it, you did not change your minds and believe him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Can you imagine? Your mom or your dad asks you to do a chore, and you say to him, mm, no, like, first of all, Who's going to just like, take out the garbage? No, no, I don't think so. And then you go and do it, right? If you survived, okay, your mom and dad's reaction to saying no to doing chores. But then you went and did it. Versus mom and dad asking you to do something and you say yes, and you don't go and do it. Well, there's also trouble. This reading is not about doing chores when your mom or your dad asks you to. These are some of my favorite passages because Jesus just brings the heat to the religious elite, the leaders, the ones who are supposed to be setting the pace, setting the example, the scribes and the Pharisees, the teachers of the law, the chief priests, the elders, all the important church guys. And they start having these little tete-a-tetes, right? And Jesus finally he settles down a little bit and he asks them this question. Uh, okay, we got two sons. Father asks them to do some chores. First one says, nope. But then he goes and he does it. Second one says, ah, uh, sure. And then he doesn't do it. Who did the will of the Father? Who did what the Father asked? Now, in these parables, most times when Jesus is talking about the Father, he's talking about our Heavenly Father. He's talking about God. And it is so in this parable as well. The tax collectors and the prostitutes were a category or categories of people who were shunned by society. They were hated by both sides. And here Jesus sets them up as the ones who saw it all clearly and came and did the will of God. And the religious leaders were the ones who didn't. So you'd think this is going to upset the elite. And in, indeed, it, it does. But there's this moment where both sons have stated their decision. And they're in that tension now of whether they do what they said they were going to do or not. Whether they do what their father asked or not. So, outside in this week. If you are a follower of Jesus, this story is pretty clear. You need to start living like it, right? There's a way that Jesus has asked us to be to follow him. And if we said, yeah, yeah, I'll follow you for sure. And then we don't do it. We are lacking in integrity. So that's the first thing we got to grapple with. And I think as a follower of Jesus myself, definitely been there. You know, I said, yeah, I'm in. And then my behavior, you know, my attitudes, my words that come out of my mouth don't sync up with what I said. I believe. But on the other hand, if you said, no, nope, not interested in Jesus, not interested in this God talk, I have to sit here and listen to your videos every week, you are also sitting at that point where you've said this, but we hear in this story that the people who rejected him then came around and now they're actually making it into heaven before the religious people. You know, that might be you. Maybe 
there's a time in the future where you've reconsidered some things. You've seen how much Jesus has demonstrated his love for you. You've heard that he has a place for you in his kingdom. And you're like, hmm, maybe I should have another look at this Jesus guy. And I would say, hmm, I think this Jesus guy is worth another look. I love you guys. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you.